Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest 3. The last episode. The last episode, we got interrupted by monsters. But yeah, I figured out where we have to go. We are exploring the Tower of Rubik. Mm -hmm. Okay, from here, we have to go here. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to fall down. Yeah, these uh, these spaces are crazy. I forget my way around them too. All right, so we have to come over here, and I'm gonna save state it. All right, up, 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 down, down, down. Okay, we got it. And we get the light armor, the best armor in the game for the hero. And the final piece of the puzzle. Yeah, this flame ring is so weak, it's not even worth it. Maybe if they gave it to me, like, a while back, it, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's pretty terrible. And the blade armor can't be equipped by anyone. Oh yeah, and I found out the Thor sword. Give it to the bag already. The Thor sword casts Firebolt in battle. Down, no. Right, no. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. There we go, we got it. Alright, let's keep going. There's one other, no. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, I know what I'm doing now. Or do I? I don't know where the hell I am. Okay, I see what I gotta do. I'm being an idiot. Nice, Iris stole a life stone from uh, a lion guy. Leona. And we got another small metal, yay! Almost a max. Alright, now here you want to fall, so I just basically hit right. And here we are down here. And we want to head... Let's see... I think we got to head this way. Yeah, there's nothing on the other side. And now we have to head this way. Down, down. Up, no. Down, down. Alright, so you gotta hit down there twice. Alright, and now we keep climbing. Mm, and we're almost to the top now. This place is pretty nice. Okay, there's no chests on this hill. On this floor, I figure there might be because of a certain something we're gonna... A certain something we might run into. What the hell just happened? Store. All right, we're all healed up. Let's go. And here we are, finally at the at Rubius, I think. So let us use the well, the fairy flute. Fairy flute, where are you? Fairy map. Fairy flute. There we are. Let's have Stello. And look at that. Same music from the original. And what's happening here? Look at that, Rubius has been saved, yay! The creator of Alfgar. Yay, we did it! So now we have the sacred amulet. Which is the third piece, third and final piece of the puzzle to get the uh, ruby, or the uh, rainbow drops. So let's get the hell out of here. There's nothing left for us here. 
And let's do last few little thingies. I don't know why it does that when I get on the boat down here. But we have to head south past Rimini Dar. So let's go. All right, let's keep going down. Damn it, Stella died. Stella! Yay! Alright. Yeah, you notice how our HP isn't going up anymore? It sucks. Never fought so many of those. Crackles in my life. The crackles or whatever. So yeah, this is an island. You have to come here by ship. Four Darth Bears. And here we are. At this place. There's one chest. Aha! Over here. And another small metal. And yeah, we have to come here in order to get the rainbow drop. He says something mean uh, if we come here beforehand. Like, you need to you need to do something. I don't know what the hell he does. He's a beanie. Yeah, I know it's empty. Because I just thiefed it. Well, actually, I stole whatever you had. So let's go. There are two tiny things I want to do before before we head over to the Rainbow Drop area. First thing is I want to head over here towards this area and see if they have anything new to say now that I saved their precious spirit. Your precious spirit has saved it. Yeah, well, Ortega, he must be at Zoma's cast by now. Yes, okay, so, alright. Alright, so I guess they don't say anything different. Now let's warp back to Alahan. Get ourselves those, tr well, at least one treasure. Hey, Ramya, how are you? You're just standing over here, waiting to be used, but sadly there will be no more using of you. But in the original game, I actually just took Ramya everywhere. It was awesome. I just flew. I never used Return. I just flew because I love the music so much. So let us... Ooh, two more. And we get a sacred bikini. And he'll give us a gold pass. Excellent. So let's look at how awesome this sacred bikini is. It is awesome. Look at this. It's even better than her hero or a light armor. It is amazing, and it also prevents um, magic damage, like, uh, it lessens, yeah, we're giving it to uh, Stella. It lessens her damage to magic, so that's amazing. Yeah, this is just awesome. Now my group is kick-ass, although, hey, look at that! She looks like a bunny girl now. That's kind of cool, I never noticed that before. Let's put her in the front. And she's got a whip. Wow, that's funny. That is cool. Let's give it to, uh, you know what? I didn't even notice that. That's pretty cool. Let's give that to Iris and have her equipped it. Look at that, Iris has got a bikini on too. That's crazy. Look at that. Whoa, she's like... She's like crazy nude, almost. Let's give that bikini to uh, Sophie now. Look at that! Ha ha ha! That's funny. Her head's still huge, but she's a hero in a bikini. That is funny stuff. I did not know they did that in this game. And finally, let's give it to Ruby. 
I don't think her appearance will change. Oh! She changed a bit. Oh my god, she's a dominatrix. That is hilarious. That's funny. That's that's pretty damn cool. That's very cool. I did not know. Wow. You learn something new every day. Alright, let's give it... Uh, no. It's big in a cute helmet. Any... Yeah. I'm not selling this. Hell no. Let's give it to, uh... Stella again. And everyone needs to equip their armor back. Well, that's pretty sweet looking. Or pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you already have all your stuff. I just think that's hilarious. Who, who's it? Iris, Sophie, Stella, Ruby. Okay. So yeah, that's really cool. Alright, now that I have that, let us return to Remudar. I'm going to show you where we have to use the uh, thing. Ooh, look at this. Look, look, look. This is actually, I was going to show this off after I did the rainbow drop, but we can do it now. This is actually the best place to get experience with Metal Babbles in Alfgard. Because Metal Babbles are everywhere. So yeah, you can use save states if you want. And just fight these guys. And yeah. So this is probably where I'll be doing some leveling. I'm actually going... Uh, yeah. State. I'm actually going to uh, to test beating Zoma with these characters. Because I've had them for so long, I'm like, you know what, let me try. No, oh, why'd I do that? But yeah, with save stating, you can totally uh, kill these guys pretty interestingly. But, another... Another tactic, I guess, you can use uh, Bee Dragon if you got that. Um, damn it. Damn it. You can use Bee Dragon. You can use the Falcon Sword. What else? There's, there's a... Uh, there's not many... Yeah, we'll save it. If I can kill one, it's better than... There we go. And so, yeah, we got 10,000 experience for it. But, yeah, um, best place to level up is right here. Um, you can use Whistle or the Silver Harp. Just walk around. Yeah, right near Rimney Dar is the best place to level up. And here we are. Where is that rainbow drop? Probably in the bag, yep. Wow, we're just like Eirdrick. We got a rainbow drop, and now we can head over to Zoma's castle. But, I am actually going to end the episode early. I think I'm going to test going in there with this party as is. Maybe buy some metal clubs. And see if I can beat Zoma with this group. If I can, then I guess I'll just I'll just finish this game with these guys. If not, I'm going to, uh... I'm definitely going to, uh change them into a sage and a, a, well, a cleric and a sage respectively. Anyways, this has been Kenshin1913 and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.